it is the prime minister modi's love towards tamil nadu for the people of tamil nadu for the art culture history traditions of tamil nadu that he comes time and again to tamil nadu for the progress of tamil nadu it is it is very sad to hear the statement of tamil nadu chief minister who is objecting to the prime minister visit to the state of tamil nadu let me say here people of tamil nadu loves prime minister modi and prime minister modi loves the people of tamil nadu he wants to see the progress of tamil nadu why dmk is silent on the issue of kachatibu island given by the congress party why is he silent is he okay with giving away one part of the country to sri lanka why are they silent does he agree with the decision of the congress party why are they mum on one hand they talk about the tamilian glory on the other hand they are silent on the issue of kacha thivu island whereas the prime minister modi he was the one who on the inauguration of the new parliament building installed the sangol there took the people from the state of tamil nadu who did the who gave the blessings there also in each in most of the speeches prime minister modi you know quote from the uh, from the great poet and philosopher thiruvalluvar's poems here is the prime minister who acknowledges the tamil language the tamil culture the tamil traditions and the progress of tamil nadu when the time came to give the 44th chess olympiad we gave it to the state of tamil nadu when it came the time of to allocate we give the khelo india youth games to tamil nadu when it came to the visit of uh, xi jinping we picked up the state of tamil nadu when it comes to the investment we pick up the state of tamil nadu why is the dmk opposing the prime minister visit to tamil nadu because they know that the people wants to vote in the favor of bjp and bjp and allies are going to create a history in the state of tamil nadu this year in 2014 after 30 years if any political party got the majority it was the bjp 282 seats in 2019 we improved our tally to 303 and 2024 we are going to cross the 400 mark if you remember last time bjp won 303 seats and in 72 seats bjp was at number 2 position so we have set a target of 370 seats for bjp and i'm sure we going to achieve that and 400 seats for nda and i'm sure the state of tamil nadu and the southern region is going to play a very important role and we are going to create a history and win the maximum seats ever in the last so many years in in the southern region as well my campaign is good i'm a already four time mp and this is the fifth term i'm going to contest